to evolve, to go beyond to the next stage, I do need to go beyond my fears. We all have fears. Yes, I had immense fears. Fear of losing my life, number one fear. Fear of losing the money. Fear of losing my wife, <laughs> my patience, my credibility. Do we have those fears? We all have those fears. What would we be without them, you're saying? But you would be with God. And I didn't know that. I didn't have a sense of my spirituality and my destiny unfolding in those 30 days and that 12 seconds, 12 minutes. But I'm here to convince you that you may not have to experience what I experienced. There are other potential less life-threatening formulas for you to experience. And since 1989 to the present day, I've been looking for a formula that you can use. And because I took, how much more time do I have? Okay, can I extend it a little bit? Do you mind if I go just a little bit longer? Let, let's finish this segment if you don't mind. Ten more minutes. So, because uh, I want to finish the story because the story gets only more dramatic. I had a life-changing experience that I could not talk about. How many of you have had that? Many, right? Is it wrong not to recount something that is sacred? It is okay for you to have a sacred experience and keep it to yourself. And keep it as long as you can until you understand it fully. Until you go through the transformation you need to have yourselves. Because if you don't transform yourselves, that's not a sacred experience. You got that? It's only sacred when you have transformed yourself. So I took that very secret transformation, didn't recount it to anyone, nobody, except that yogi. Because I needed to hear from someone advanced, spiritually, more advanced than me, to tell me, okay, I think I'm on the right track. I took that energy of the fast, I took that transformational energy, and what did I do with it? I started going bananas. I started integrating into the practice all the people that had helped me. And before I did that, of course, I had to buy the practice. A lot of fear in buying something you don't understand. How many have done that? Bought a house, bought a business, yeah? Raise your hands. That you didn't know what you're going to do. How am I going to pay the mortgage, run the business? Had all those fears. I just did it. I didn't even think about it. I just did it. Here, I'm going to sign a check every month for the next 15 years. Hasta la vista, I take over the practice. First thing I do is start integrating this practice. Very conventional practice, now beginning to bring in these practitioners that had helped me. Allopathics were only now uh, representing about 100% uh, of our practice at that point, but within a year, only 65% of the practice. So we were bringing homeopaths, naturopaths, massage therapists, 16 different providers joined the practice. Yes, that same practice. Same practice. So what did, got rid of those other doctors? No, I was very generous. But, <laughs> but they wanted to stay around you after that? Not all of them. <laughs> but I also remember that I'm a young practitioner, and 90% uh, of the allopathic MDs were older than me. To have a boss that is younger was itself very challenging. And I had to be very, very cautious, very courteous and continue to learn from senior MDs that knew more potential medicine than I did. But we kept bringing these people in, and amazing things started happening. Just because of the flow of the practice, acupuncturists were working with orthopedists, you know, massage therapists were working with neurologists, all these transactions were working, and next thing we know, we were having so much fulfillment, uh, you know, the banker said, you know, you're doing so good. Uh, have you considered going public? And before even going public, we had experimented with an insurance pool, and we took 15,000 subscribers of a health plan, and we said, we're going to take care of your lives, just like those insurance companies are, but instead of charging you $500, which is what they're charging you, we're going to charge you only $115 a month. Crazy idea. $115 a month, plus we're going to add all this complementary and alternative medicine on top of the conventional stuff. 
never been done in the history of the U.S. We didn't know that at the time. So, of course we're successful. 15,000 people love us. And we were so excited, we said, oh, okay, we take the practice public. $25 million of revenue we're generating now. Let's go public, make hundreds of millions of dollars. Is that a good idea? Yes. Would you have done it? Yes. That's what I tried to do. <laughs> 